Hey, how's it going? Sorry for the long intro. Had to feed the cats right before. Probably should have done it earlier. God damn it. There we go. I was trying to turn down the volume and I wasn't. I was just typing. I was like, why isn't this working? Hey, Lud, how's it going? Also, Nissa, sure thing. It is trucking day. Hi, Koodles. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh my god, Annie. And he just pounced on me. Hey. Thanks for the follow, Dead Hard Gamer. Oh. Let me. Yeah, I hate doing these. I hate doing long intros. I really do. But, uh. Anyways, we're gonna be trucking today. If you've never been here for a trucking day, it's a lot of fun. We're down a person. Unfortunately, Carol's not gonna be here. But that's okay, because we have Nyssa. I'm going to be trucking and having a good time. Woo. Also, this week has just been a very like low energy week for me. So hopefully next week will be a little better. Uh, except next week, uh, I won't be live on Monday because uh, I've got a friend coming up. Uh, so Noah and I are going to be spending the day and the evening with them and then i believe they're leaving tuesday morning so we should be back tuesday hello venus how's it going oh yeah damn right lud you know you know it's the same old same old we got the uh it's just an original coffee because it's the cheapest with uh butter pecans pe <laughs> butter pecan swirl and oat milk butter pecan Ooh, the bird is getting down outside my window. Not like fucking, just like dancing. It was like, damn. And here in the midnight too. Go off. Damn. How's everybody doing? Um, how's everybody's week been? I know we didn't stream yesterday because I was feeling like a turd. But uh, yeah. Hope it's been well. I know Koodles is getting rained on. No, no Carol today, unfortunately. Let him cook. He's gone. I don't know. I hope. I hope. Also, we're we're just gonna load into truck sim. Cause we can. Yeah, what's everybody been up to? What's uh what's everybody's week been like? Good, bad. Hopefully not bad. You never know. We're also listening to uh some bops today. Listening to Bop after bop after bop. Bop, bop, bop to the top. Oh, do you guys want to hear a story? It involves... Okay, well, here's another story. They found a dead body in a park near me. That's story one. That's it. That's the end. Uh, story two. Um, I was driving the other day, going to get a free Taco Bell item. And uh, I was like, this is great. I ran... It was like almost two miles that morning. I got in my car, did all my morning stuff, and then got in my car. And so I'm driving to work and not even a couple minutes away. And there's this dude parked in both lanes, the middle of both lanes. And this road is a one way. So, you know, you can drive in either lane. But uh, the free breakfast crunch wrap every Tuesday. I got that the day before. This one was just because I had I bought too much Taco Bell and they're like, here, have a free thing because I have a problem. I can't help it. So I got a I got a breakfast quesadilla. But I did get that the day before and you have one more week to get it if you want. Um not sponsored unless they want to. But uh So I'm at the stoplight. This Ford Fiesta, this white Ford Fiesta. Mhm. Mm set the scene at the stoplight. Lights red in the middle of both lanes and I'm in the left lane cuz I'm like I got to turn left. And so in my mind, I go, this guy's obviously stupid. So I honk. Be like, hey, you're in the middle of two lanes, in case you didn't know, if you're blind. And then the light turns green, and they keep going. And I'm like, okay. I gave them like 10 seconds. They're still in the middle of both lanes. So I lay on my horn. I'm like, meh, meh. You know, because they're obviously, they shouldn't be driving. And they should know. My horn is there, and I'm going to fucking use it. And so, uh... You know what he does? He slams on his brakes, throws his driver door open, and hangs out. And it's like, 
I don't know what he expected to happen. And he was yelling while he was doing this. He was like, I heard it from my car with closed windows. He's going, and so I'm like, whoop. And I just go around him. But what would happen if I just hit him? He would be dead. That man would have been decapitated. I was going like 20, but a head against a door against a car. It's kind of like what I imagine dropping jello on the ground would be like, you know, like what did he expect to happen? Anyways, that was my morning. The rest of the day was fantastic. I was just like, oh, that was a weird experience. And I never saw him again. And uh, yeah, <laughs> he just he just kept going straight and I just turned and I was at the pussy wagon. That guy ain't getting no pussy. He ain't getting no pussy, no bussy, no any nothing. You know why? Because he's got anger management problems and he doesn't know how to fucking drive. <laughs> Damn. I, it's, it's just one of those things to where you're like, why are you driving? I, th there's a lot of that in this town. Yeah. Phone is. So, you know, like, you know, a desert. It's like you dug down in the desert and you're not even on the surface. You're covered by sand and it's dark. No sunlight at all. Anyways, other than that, yeah, it's just nothing. Nothing's new except the, the dead body a couple blocks away. But that also happened the last place I was living. People just love to ditch bodies close to where I live. Maybe I'm just picking bad places to live. Did I tell the knife fight story on my stream before? Did you guys, were you guys filled in on the time that there was a knife fight? Uh, sorry, not a knife fight. A knife versus brick fight in front of my apartment. If not, I might not tell it today, but I, I'll tell it eventually. <laughs> it's definitely Missouri. And it's definitely the worst of Missouri, too. All right. It is constantly an adventure. Sounds like drugged out people fighting. Yeah. Pretty much. It's, it's, uh, that was my first apartment living in this, uh, in this city. <clears throat> and it was, you know, I feel like I could live anywhere after my experiences, you know? Also, I want to let you guys know that I thought about buying Texas. I may have potentially bought Texas and returned it. Um, just because the summer sale happens the 29th through the 17th. I posted it in the discord, um, in the get, get, say, the game sales channel. <laughs> but yeah, I, I will buy Texas lead because I, you know, but, uh, I'm waiting for it to go on sale so I can buy all of these states, all of these states and these, and then buy probably dark souls one. And then, uh, so next week we probably won't, we'll probably still be doing Minecraft stuff uh, next week as well as DVD and the anniversary is going on. So that'll be the plan. Another truck on Friday next week. And then the week after that, the first week of July, I think is when we'll start all of our dark souls playthroughs. <laughs> We're going to do one and then two. And then we'll figure out if we want to do three. Well, we'll figure out if we want to do two after one, but uh, I've been recommended by lots of people to do one first because it's very bare bones, and if I go back to it, I probably won't like it. Uh, we're going to save some of these larger jobs. The former drug addict, you know you can live anywhere. You used to stay trapped sleeping on piles of clothes. You know, Koodles, you're... I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. You're basically invincible now, Koodles. You know that? Invincible. It depends on some of these people that I see around. Some of them aren't even on, at least, you know, don't seem like they're on anything. They just seem like they're just angry people. Like I was at McDonald's at midnight and this guy pulled a gun on somebody and raced him down the street trying to like shoot him, I guess, because he was honked at. And Noah and I are just sitting there. I have a video of it. I'll post it in the Discord if I can remember. But uh, just absolutely... Oh. We, we were just sitting there with our cookie toad. Waiting on our cookie toad, actually. And, uh... Yeah. Just wild stuff happens. 
and I'm just there for it. And I'm like, well, as long as I'm not part of it, it's fine. Just like I did witness um, some like FBI most wanted criminals get chased by like 30 cop cars uh, on a vacation once. And they had like robbed a bunch of banks and killed a bunch of cops and stuff. So that was that was kind of crazy. Hi, Grayson. I don't know. We just got we started. We literally just started streaming. I'm talking about crazy stuff. You were the druggie with the brick. Damn koodles. They never found the brick guy. He ran away. He was on parole. We're going to do a livestock job. And I think Nessa should be good after that. Woo. All right, y'all. Oh, hold on. Pause. We need to change the music over to Weeby Truckin. Um, what do we want to do? There we go. Damn right. You know, Koodles, fun fact, the brick guy took out the guy with the knife. You know why? Because he, th he threw like 15 bricks at him. And, uh... It's a crazy story. I was doing case studies for my, uh, it was like diversion in equality class. Also, uh, congrats on Grayson getting his promotion. Let's go. Congrats. It's very exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting news. When do you start again? Is it like a week or two or so? Uh, I think you were saying I'm still waiting to hear back on all my people. I wish they were as quick as yours. <laughs> yeah, that's very exciting in two weeks. All right. Oh, piss girl. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me know if you guys can hear the music. All right. Uh, also tonight for truck sim, we are doing a couple things. Uh, we're going to try to get some challenge, some challenges, some achievements uh, done. So like delivering to airports, uh, delivering different types of heavy cargo, uh, just, just stuff like that. Delivering to different places. Come on, let's go. Shaking my head, these people. I'm a lot more patient in real life. It, well, except for maybe not with the person that was taking up the two lanes, but they had it coming, you know. No damage run. It's, it's more than 600 miles for the achievement, but we can try, yeah. Yeah, we can try it. We're, we're by ourselves right now, so uh, it's worth a shot. All right, y'all. Everybody say hi to Bluey. There he is. He killed his owner. Not his owner. He killed his maker. Hi, Bluey. What's seven? Whoa! Oh, oh, ha! No damages. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh. Gosh, dang. Yeah, he killed his maker. Look it up. It's, uh... He finished making them, and then it fell on him, or something like that. Well, I mean, I feel like it's... Yeah, Blucifer. Oodles knows. We are in Denver. We are indeed. Dream Burger. Barely know her. All right, y'all. Boom. Look at us. What do we got in here? Can we see? Oh, we can see. There are, uh, what are these cows? Stitches. Live cattle. Well, live cattle is better than dead cattle. In this circumstance, although if we were driving in the full convoy, they might not make it. Yo, we got to pile up on the highway. There's a bunch of cows loose. Yeah, I wish I could change that horn. I can't though. Damn. Honk, honk. There's Lud. Everybody say bye to Lud. Hi, Lud. He's the gate attendant at every every place that has to let us in. Okay, please don't hit my trailer. Don't hit my trailer. Don't hit my trailer. 
Damn, Stevie Wonder, go off. You guys get a good look at the cows in there? I'm trying to like move it so you can kind of see them a little bit. No, multi-tier cows. <laughs> Can't wait to be your sugar baby. Damn. <laughs> Moo indeed. Dead hard gamer, are you? Are you somebody that I've played with before just based on your name? In like other games? I don't want to assume. Just the way you spell. Okay, okay, okay. I thought so, I thought so. All right. Do you want me to call you Dead Hard Gamer? What What do you uh, prefer? Bump up, don't. Man, I gotta figure out what, uh, what we're doing for Minecraft this coming week. Oh, kudos, dang. Anything works? All right, anything works. <laughs> Look at that articulating trailer. Mm. Man, also, you know, uh, Lud has been saying that he really wants to get this game. And uh, Nissa and I are like, you gotta. Like, it's one of those games that seems like, oh, why? Like, I don't, I don't see the draw behind it. But then you like watch somebody play it and you're like, oh, okay. And then you play it yourself with other people and you're like, oh, wow. Oh. Ooh. You know, like it's, it, it, it uh, I don't know. I said it turns something on in you. Uh, it could, I guess. If you're one of, if you're a big truck guy. Um, you know what? No, yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with that. Put that sugar on the stove with a little water and liquefy. I'm trying to make. What are you trying to make koodles? You're just making caramel. It's very relaxing and also not very relaxing. Depends who you play with, you know. <laughs> Game is out a character for you that you want to play? The Hunter games? What's that? Just something to drip on? Oh, okay. I mean, isn't caramel just like caramelized sugar? What's the Hunter games? Hunting a deer? Oh, you mean like hunting games? Isn't there a game that went free on... Am I supposed to... What am I... Oops, I guess I wasn't supposed to go yet. Ah! <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I'm kind of with you, Koodles. But, uh... Yeah, there's something on Epic that, uh, it's, it's free if you, if you want it. It could be an interesting game. It's on sale on Steam, too, but also, like, why do that when you can get it for free on Epic? You know? They've been having a lot of games uh, for free on Epic. You're getting on? All right. Um, I'm doing a small little job. I can open this up to uh, Convoy though. Oop. What's this song? It's so quiet. No Woman by Whitney. All right, hosting the Convoy. You just want to shoot bows and stuff? You know, shooting a bow is pretty cool. I will say, out of all the things, a bow is definitely the coolest way to do that. You know? All right. Oh, oh we're stopped on the highway. Okay, parking brakes engaged. Surprised that cop didn't say anything. All right, Nissa convoy is open. You know, uh, in middle school, I almost joined the archery club and I was okay at archery. Like we had a little tryout day and like for that little bit that I got to use the uh, They're like compound bows. I think they were called. I was like, ooh, this is kind of fun But then again also like Eh, you know, I really you know, did I disable some mods? I shouldn't have Um No I was talking about this, uh, because I still have like all of these, the trailers and stuff like that. <laughs> but, uh, another thing I really wanted to do, but I just didn't get the chance to, uh, was I really wanted to run, run, run distance. 
And I guess we're kind of getting at that now. Um, to run distance. And the teacher who was in charge of track was like, no, you're going to pole vault. And I went, I don't want to do that. So I just never did. I gave up on my dream. I could have been absolutely fucking crazy at running. Damn, calling him an old fart? Whoa, what? Kudos. <laughs> better. I think we're both both good in our own rights. I wouldn't say anyone's better than the other. Saying your screen loading two mods? No, 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 no. It does that every time. It does that every time. Don't worry. Look at it. Also, look, I'm not in the negative for once. The experienced one, you do have more experience than me. I'll tell you that. So, okay. All right, all right, I guess. Hey, you guys heard of milk? There's a billboard for it. Got milk? No, you should. Man, you know, Koodles, they also just released, um, vehicle inspection. Do you think the no damage run I guess if we don't get the achievement, we don't get the achievement. Um, <laughs> I, I, what the hell was I even going to say? No, I'm not going to slander milk. Try joining me through Steam if it's not working. Uh, if not, I can check right after you send me a screenshot. Oh, if it doesn't work through Steam or like vice versa through the game, uh, this job is a really short one. So I can finish this and then relaunch. Also, look, this is this is the part of Colorado which you enter and you're like, oh, it's starting to get hilly. I love it. Every time I go to Colorado, you reach a certain point after driving through absolutely fucking nothing for like all day. And then. Uh, Yeah, it's, it just starts to get hilly and you're like, oh, oh, and then you see like you can't tell if they're mountains or clouds in the distance. And you're like, oh, and then you can tell they're mountains and you're like, whoa, my favorite thing is just the mountains in like the Rocky Mountain area. Just mm, every time I go there, it's fantastic. So good. Where do you enter? Well, we enter through the entrance and we leave also through the entrance. I'm not going to tell you where that's at. Well, but what is an e-house? Is that like a, a house of smut? Smut warehouse? Hello, welcome to Koodle Smut Warehouse in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Place for all of us e hoes so yeah, basically. Okay, we're going for a no damage run, but we're really like... I'm kind of pushing it a bit. Oh, guys. Whoa. <gasps> Electronic hose. It's like EA Sports. It's EH Sports. <laughs> well, we already got Venus on board. I feel like I could be an e ho, you know? Like, if you play Stardew Valley, is that. Isn't one of your tools an e ho? something to think about also i should get gas we're kind of right don't run into anything this is the riskiest part an eho in theory but not in practice that's okay it's the thought that counts and you're the thought that counts so every exit is also an entrance um it can be should it maybe not in all cases yeah exactly it's the t-h-o-t -T that counts and that's you <laughs> Especially if you're in STEM. Anyone that plays Stardew is an EO. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, no, that too. I'll I'll double down on that. Also, I don't know about you guys, but all of the all of the sub drama, the Titanic sub drama, I love it. The memes, oh my god. I, it has been nonstop memes. And, uh, eat the rich. 
or in this case, drink them. Because, uh, yeah. The only people I feel bad for in that scenario are the scientist who went down and the 19 year old because he was convinced by his dad. He was like guilt tripped into it. Other than that, you get what you got coming. Oh. Damn. Damn, Koodles. We're going the wrong way. That's okay. Fuck it. Dude, I, I tried. I, I don't think I can get into Stardew. That's why you shouldn't listen to your parents. Yes. If your parents ask you to get into a really shitty submersible controlled by a Logitech Xbox game controller, don't do it. Honestly, if you're going any more than like tens of feet down or, you know, no, well, well scuba diving could be okay. But like, no, mm -mm. don't do it. Just the ocean's scary. The ocean is scarier than space in some ways until you get out there and then it gets really scary. Yeah, exactly. It was it was Father's Day. It, it like fell on Father's Day weekend. And the fact that the Navy was like, oh, yeah, no, that thing. We knew that thing imploded like three days ago. And we were like, oh, OK. <laughs> I mean, I believe it. it. It seems like something a rich dad would do. It seems like something a regular dad would do. I mean, a little little stim bitch and picking apart all the science behind what happened. Dude, it's crazy in like how deep they went. It's like everything. Oh, I've been talking about this all week. Like it's oh, my God, mm -mm -mm. it's it's just absolutely crazy. And so many red flags were there and like it's <sighs> yikes. I can't imagine going on something like that and not researching just a little bit, you know? They thought it did, but didn't want rescue efforts to stop. Yeah. Also, and now everybody's like, well, what was all that banging? They're like, because they heard that like banging, like somebody was like inside a sub banging. They're like, what the hell was that? What if it was just a bunch of fish fucking? It's like a fish orgy. And that's all the banging they heard. I, where are we going with things today? What are these conversations? Damn. Oh, they cramps are the worst. I feel that, Goodles. No, that thing is way too cramped. I would just get claustrophobic just sitting in there. And you're bolted in, too. I know it's like... It is... You have to be bolted in, basically. For that thing. Oh, hold on. We saw a cow a little bit. Damn. The orc is banging pots and pans because the sonar's fucking with them. Dude, I love the... The orca memes happened right before this. And the first meme that I saw was, I bet you I know who did it. And it was a bunch of orcas. It was... It's like... Oh my god. I love it. Those memes are freaking crazy. They built a GTA sub that explodes. That's the same thing. 35 and you don't know if you're fish turtles, chickens... Bang it out with genitals? I mean, I don't know. I really don't. It's not something I think about usually. I'm sure for some people it's something they think about. We only have 56 minutes. Let's not crash. They just look at each other and they share a longing stare. And then all of a sudden, baby. And then another one. And then they have 30 children because that's just how animals do it, I guess. I, it's, it's, they have so many. <laughs> Just going to a college, go to the bio department and be like, Hey, so uh, I, got a, I got a question about how animals be fucking. If they find that thing in the ocean... Oh, hold on. I'm trying not to damage. If they find that thing is the ocean... Trying to blow a 3-1 lead? Oh no. Fish and turtle one, you don't know about chickens? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I've never actually thought about it. You're looking at Minecraft skins yesterday and the name of one was, I went down in the ocean and never came back up. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> I've been, <laughs> I've also been seeing uh, a lot of tweets of like people going back in time being like, you know, I have this movie. It's like from last year or two years ago like movie idea 
rich people go down to the Titanic and then their sub gets lost and there's a big search effort and then they find them. And then, you know, it's like stuff like that. Or one of them was like, all right, who wants to loan me $250,000 to go see the Titanic? And then a quote tweet of their own tweet saying, never mind. <laughs> it's <laughs> all of that stuff. It just, it cracks me up. I love it so much. Okay, I know it says not to go, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a little rebel, you know? Like a radio rebel. The real Nepo baby is radio rebel. Something made you, okay. No, the, I, I've been sending all the memes. My group chat has been going off. You know when Taylor Swift during the Eras Tour dives down, Koodles, cover your ears, I don't wanna hear anything. Uh, when Taylor Swift dives down into the stage, it's a clip of that. And it says Taylor Swift joining the rescue efforts. If any of you are asked to borrow 225? Quiddles. <laughs> I'm, I, mm -mm. I don't lend. Well, my friends never ask me for money, but I just, I don't lend anybody anything because mm -mm. no matter how close. Well, I know it's different, but you know. Also, it's our anniversary today. Six years. And we both work opposite shifts today. I worked in the morning and he works in the evening, but it's okay. We're, uh, we got some plans next week. <laughs> I know, I know, but you gotta make that money. Goodles, goodles. Then she tells you she's trying to buy a house this year. Priorities, girl. Damn. Hold $5 until next Thursday? No. No. Hold your own $5. Oh shit, we literally just pull in. All right, y'all. All right, now let's see what this has been troubled with. Stingy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Nissa, do you have uh Okay, let's check and see what we got. I've not been drinking enough of my coffee. Maybe I accidentally did something. So these are the stuff, right? Cat Cats, do you have it in this order? You know, Goodles, I might have 10 quarters in my car. I'll check after stream. Because <laughs> I don't have those mods. I don't have some of those mods on. I'm going to be real with you. I would, I would just double check this. Can you check the trunk? No. No. You don't know what I got in my trunk. No reason. I just, it's a private trunk, you know? I'm just saying. Oh, hell yeah, guys. Miley Cyrus. Do you, okay. I want to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think? We're listening to Spotify right now. Spotify versus Apple Music. Because I've been trying Apple Music out because I have six months free. I really like Apple Music. But for me, the only thing keeping me from using it, number one, recommended playlists. And number two, not being able to cast it to my, like, my PC or my... Uh, my Alexis. That's the only thing. YouTube? That's all right. YouTube's pretty good too. Yeah, I'll try joining you. Yeah, sure. Start one up. Um, you use Spotify? Because I've used Spotify for a long time, but like I've been using Apple Music. Let me show you one of my favorite things. Well, also Apple Music has a Spotify, like a classical app. 
and I love the classical app. I know it's a more of a niche thing, but like the way they organize things and section it up, that is a game changer and it is, oh, it's so good. So that is already amazing. But one of the main things that I really like is the audio quality, obviously it has lossless for the same price. And uh, it has animated album covers. So like, I don't know, it's just like small little touches. I like the layout and the karaoke on it. Like there's things that I like more in both things and like, I don't know, Apple Music's just, I like the quality better, but Spotify is just, you know, it's got some nice stuff that it just doesn't have. You Spotify since middle school? Same. Only cause it has a wider uh, music and no ads. Yeah, no, I feel that. It's, I'm in the process because I'm like, well, I really like uh, Nissa. What's your name for the convoy? Spotify sometimes will have K-pop groups that you like, but only their Japanese recordings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that Apple Music? Spotify has. It doesn't have the karaoke thing. Well, boy, what I mean by karaoke, it, they both have lyrics. Apple Music lets you literally turn off the vocals. So you can just listen to the instrumental on like popular songs. Oh yeah, I guess I could do that. So that's the different thing. Also, I mean, if you're not already in the Apple ecosystem, you're probably not gonna get a bunch out of it. But for me, I have like a MacBook, an iPad, an Apple Watch, an iPhone, I got an Apple TV. And uh, just cause it works so easily for what I wanna use it for. Using it on the TV is so nice. Yeah, it's it's one of those things to where it's just, I wanna, I don't know. It's It's been a point of contention because I'm like, I really, really like Apple Music, but it's just, it falls short in like some of the more important areas that I want. But it just looks so nice and it's so good to use. Oh, I don't know, it's, I keep going back and forth on it, but Spotify, like it, it hasn't done me wrong, except for when they tried to update the interface to something stupid. That was the, that little TikTok interface. That was the dumbest thing that I have ever freaking seen. Uh, Nissa. Oh, wait, howdy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> there My we go. Off. All good. Um, I'll let you pick some jobs. We can go for some achievements, like uh, delivering stuff to airports or uh, the San Francisco or Oakland ports. Those are uh, achievements. Or we can do heavy cargo jobs or whatever you want to do. I'm just letting you do it because you're uh, a little bit lower level, so it'll be easier. Okay, well, let me see. You know, Venus, I do kind of feel like that because, like, if they just had these few things, like, if I could watch it on... If I could have it for Windows, if I could connect it to my Alexas, and if I could, I don't even know what the other thing was. It just had better recommended playlists. That would, that would do it. Those three things would do it for me. I don't know. I always like trying new stuff though. Cause like if I've been using some for a while, I'm like, is there anything better? Oh, yeah. Do you want to, de to deliver cars? Um, if... If you, let's see. Can I do destination? Hmm. Sender? Oh. A recipient. Uh. Hold on one second. Down? Is this to the airport? Ooh, okay. I'm trying to like find stuff that goes to these places. Is there no Salt Lake City? There it is. 
Uh, we can also do some jobs going out of Salt Lake City. There's an achievement to do one of each of them from Salt Lake City if you want. Uh, I can. I just want to make sure you can do it, too. I guess we'll see when you start it, because I'm not sure. Here, I'll just... We'll just quick travel. Uh, quick travel to Salt Lake City. Anybody has any song recommendations, let me know. I can't do all of them, but in between, I might be able to add it. Annie is staring at the floor and I'm convinced there's like a spider or something. Look at that. Like she is fixated. Fixated. Oh my lord. Oh. There's cat cam, by the way. While I kind of drive to my location, there's Echo laying in the chair. Or if you're a little newer, exclamation mark cats. Annie is now batting at the thing on the floor. I I don't see anything, but. Could just be an ant, too. Oh, well, howdy there. Hey, howdy do there. I'm just gonna follow you. Did we get that achievement? Uh, we can all just go right over here. Scrap cars first. One from each of the places. I think we can go... This way? I think it's delivering from one of each of the places and there's like eight or something like that. Yeah, we're going for some uh, some achievements today. This is probably the worst way to go, to be honest. Is this Nickelback? Yeah. Damn. He's coming to Dead by Daylight. I'm just kidding. I used to get them so mixed up though, like actually. Like it... I could not tell the difference. We could have literally just gone down the road. It's about the journey. <laughs> uh, continue. Uh, what? Try accepting. <gasps> oh my god, I was I was scared. I was like, this is it. Damn. There's blood. Blood's there. Oh, we all want to be, be rock stars. I got it. Hell yeah, it's a shorter job, but I think it'll still count. Damn, look at these crushed cars. Would you guys eat one of these? Damn, we're starting out big, huh? Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> It's a short job. It's only like, it's under two hours. Oh, okay. That's short. It just says deliver from one of each. Am I gonna be good back there? Well, cuts it close. Okay, I'm gonna double check. Just, no, I didn't mean to open that. I, pff, God damn it. For your cards not crushed? All right, hungry. <laughs> this is killing me. I know Carol added this. Um, achievements, there we go. Yep, uh, take a job from each branch of each company located in Salt Lake City. Requires Utah DLC. Big rock stars. Do you just want to be a big rock? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Well, damage free run is done for you. <laughs> Bro, not slowing down. Damn. <laughs> oh, you didn't see the truck's exiting sign. No, you did not. Bro needs damn. his license revoked. A lot of people need to have their license revoked. We're just gonna go for it and hope I don't get ran the over. NPCs have it out for us, let's be real. Do I literally do not. 
I know I'm running the light, but it's it's fine. It's meant to be that way. You gonna be okay? Is this uh too much for your truck? This is a lot for my truck. Uh, nah, I think we're good. It's a cannon event. I'm just gonna oh. go in the middle here. I haven't seen uh the new Spider-Man movie, but I really want to. Oh, doing the old serpentine. I see how it is. This guy's trying to get past you. Oh, hell no. Oh. Oh. Not on my road. Damn, okay. Oh, well, we got to get over anyways. All right, y'all. All right, so we're doing no damage runs, right? I mean, that's the goal. I, I think I did one last run. I don't know if it was long enough, though. <laughs> that's what she said. Okay. Can't have nothing. Which exit do we take? This one right here. This one. Oh my god, this reminds me. I gotta replace my rear right blinker. I, it started doing the tick, 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 tick. And I was like, God damn it. I got in my car this morning and sure enough, when I got to work, I checked back right blinkers out. This, this, I was about to say this job, this game, it'd be so much fun to have more people in our convoy, more chaos. Mm -hmm. No, eventually I want to have it up to that like eight person cap. We'll see, but it's, it's got to be the right people, you know, otherwise it gets too much. Yeah. Like, more camaraderie than annoyance. Oh it's, my god, Carol is going to bury everyone six feet under. Yeah, it's okay. It's a little, it's for a, a nap. It's just a short nap. Dude, get out of my lane. <laughs> it's the initiation. See that guy back there? The initiation is Carol killing you. He's absolutely murdering you and flipping your truck. I wish we could go off cliffs in this game. If only. Oh my god, yes. There was that one, that one, uh, that was like outside of Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. I was wondering like what was up there and then I was so disappointed. I was like, I wanted to yeet my truck off of there. <laughs> we just need like a kind of like flight sim where it's just the whole world mapped and uh, truck sim. They're adding actually in the new flight sim, they're adding jobs and they've mapped every airport that's registered with the FAA. And I am so fucking excited. There's so many jobs in that new game. I need something like that for truck sim, but it's much harder. The sky is a lot easier. Uh, is that game made by the same creators of this game? Uh, no, that's by Microsoft and Asobo. But uh, it is, it's an amazing game. I love flight sim. And hopefully when it has jobs and all that, it's kind of like uh, truck sim in a way that you can take deliveries and you can do search and rescue missions and cargo jobs and you know fight fires and stuff like that so there's there's like a shit ton of new stuff coming i am so excited that actually sounds kind of fun but like oh god flight simulate like flying that makes me nervous like even it's like gta i was like not enjoying that well i can always uh they have like really easy controller um settings to where you can just do the most basic basics of flight and then you can get like nitty gritty even like with this game so they're very similar in that way do they have a demo well the the new one that's coming out in 2024 is the one with all the jobs so it's coming out next year but they do have uh flight sim 2020 that i bought and uh it is i've sunk so many hours in that game it's just so fun i fly over like you know, my house, places that I've lived, and like places I wanna go. It's it's really cool. It's the whole world, one to one. Is it based off of like Google Maps or something? Uh, it's Bing because it's Microsoft, but it's really good. And like, like I said, every airport is mapped and all that. Oh, guys, I love Sims. Damn, that's actually crazy. Yeah, once you get into it, it also has live weather and time. So you can do like live weather and just different weather patterns. And 
uh, something people did during like hurricanes and stuff, they would fly into the hurricanes. Wait, there's hurricanes? Well, this whatever's. Car, this motherfucker. Well, yeah, you can uh, go back to certain dates in time and it'll have the weather from that date. And if it's a hurricane, yeah. It's like live weather. That is one of the coolest things in the game. <laughs> Holy shit, you, you might actually be selling it to me. I mean, it, it also depends on like how in depth you want to go. I have like a flight stick. It's just like a little joystick thing and a uh, throttle. And it is amazing. It's, it's fun. I don't really go super in depth with it, but it is, it's just, it's a chill game, kind of like this. And you can have multiple people fly IRL. It shows real flights too, but you can also just like choose to have all online players visible. And uh, you can just have like big group flies and it's no limit. But can you crash with other people? Uh, that is turned off because it's a little bit harder to restart in that game than this one. <laughs> uh, that's actually a little disappointing. They do have jets in there though, so you can go really fast. Like I've, I've played this game with uh, Axo and we like were flying in the jets and just, oh, it's so fun. They have like fictional stuff too. Like they have the, uh, what's it called? The Pelican from Halo. And then they're also adding the Dune Choppers. Whoa. I almost missed the turn. I almost just crushed your tail lights. <laughs> How dare you? I can only back up a little bit. All right, that's it. Dude, no Kahan now we good. released the extended uh, version of this album, which is what we're listening to now. Exclamation mark song, if you want to know what kind of song is playing. But um, it is so good. And uh, yeah, you didn't have... Oh, if you didn't have issues before, after listening to it, you will. So good, though. It's worth it. Carol knows. I talked to her. Whenever we're playing Minecraft, I usually just Wait, throw it on. Carol was today? Oh, she's prepping for a weekend trip. Ooh, that sounds fun. It does. I get to see my friends on Sunday, so I'm actually really excited about that. <sighs> I got a friend coming up Monday and Tuesday. We're, we're all doing fun stuff. That's a yeehaw moment. All right, let me see what else we got out of Salt Lake City and if I got that achievement. Guys, achievements. <laughs> Slat. I am a little concerned because I do hear thunder. One of eight. Randomly. Uh, just don't have your stuff turn off. Easy. I wish. But my power usually, like, blinks for a second or two. So that's, like, why I usually get off when there's thunder. You got this. Hmm. Ace Steel. What do we... No, that was a steel. Okay, so we can do mining. This is not that much. Uh, we can do goods coming from out of there. Give me one second. I'll be right back. This would be a good one. Glass from Salt Lake to Eli. It's not a lot, but we're just doing one from each company. We're just having a giant outdoor event with free food and games and a bouncy house and stuff tomorrow. Damn. Tomorrow's my day off. My work has a giant event that they throw. Well, they throw a lot of giant events, but tomorrow and there's like a band and stuff. And I was going to photograph it. But fortunately, budgets got cut for events, so they've had to cut back on a lot of stuff they really plan to do. So I'm not photographing anymore, but I am off. So that'll be nice. I can run in the morning and then come back home and sit down and not have to go straight to work. So that'll be fantastic. I uh, can go back to Salt Lake City and pick the job up for 14,000. This one's going to Vernal. Salt Lake City. Yeah.
you know, the weather's been like so, so hot lately, but my favorite part about hot weather is in the evenings, it is amazing. Like the mornings and the evenings during this time of year are my favorite times. And then the fireflies come out and it is beautiful. The best time to go take a walk and just like enjoy some good music on, you know? Mm. Mm -mm. Do I have anything I could buy? See, these ones, these ones make my truck hella long. I'm not going to really get anything out of it. There's nothing else I can really buy at this point for my truck. There are new trucks coming out, so that'll be fun. Uh, we could also switch trucks if we wanted. We have a lot of trucks. Like it's it's right, back. a lot. What are we doing? Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City again. Okay. I'm gonna sleep. Ow. All right. We're delivering a tractor on this one. You ever think? Okay, nope. Is it? Did you already clap the job? Yep, right this way. Oh man. I thought we were ghosts. Shit. How dare you? Uh, oh, you know what I thought about getting once I get like, if I ever get a wheel, uh, it's like a city driver game where you literally are just driving a car around a city and you can drive to like different kinds of cars. I thought that'd be like a fun little, just like chill game. It's like, I love sim games. Or maybe we can do flight sim one day on stream because you can do commercial flights too. Like you can fly commercial airliners to like helicopters and all that kind of stuff. Like one day on stream. Oh, cows are so cute. I know, right? <laughs> but uh, one day on stream, we literally just went around a city over there. where uh, a couple of people that I know, some other streamers and stuff, one of our mods lived and live and uh, they just kind of like talked about the city. Driving a car around the city would be chill. Listen. You know what would be cool is um, a car simulator. We were just talking about that and uh, Venus called me a psychopath. Wait, why? Because I said it would be chill. How does that make you a psychopath? That'd be so, like, it'd be fun. Of course it. Uh, I, I was actually talking about that. I was like, if I get a wheel and uh, pedals, I think it'd be fun to get one of those just to kind of like chill out with. Either that or we can play a uh, flight sim. Dude, I love driving in cities. Honestly, I think it'd be good to like help people build some confidence in driving, AKA me. Ex I hate it. Exactly. I'm the designated driver for anything that's in the city. Like I've driven in all of the cities. 21,000! Umberto, kill it! Oh god, you would not catch me doing that, ever. Look at all these big machines. No, I've driven in, like, whenever we went to LA, I drove in San Francisco, and Denver, and, you know, all of those kind of big cities. Wait, so are you talking about, like, downtowns, or, like, just, like, big cities? Just all of it. We've driven downtown, we've driven around the cities, like, Chicago, too. I'm the one who always drives uh, whenever it gets anywhere near those cities. We've been here before. Yeah, I would not Damn. go near the cities because, like, the one giant. way just looking at it, the, me being, like, a passenger makes me nervous. Well, I was the one who, like, drove to St. Louis every time I uh, we'd go somewhere uh, whenever I lived up there. And I also drove a manual, so it's like I feel like that was even harder driving a manual in the city with like these absolutely terrible city drivers. It just prepared me for everything. Dude, all the Californians are coming here and it's driving up the house prices and like, and it's just like terrible drivers in general because they're so like slow and all that. Because everything was so cheap there and now they're going there and uh, it's not so cheap anymore. I'm just waiting for this area to do the same. Please just leave. Go back. 
What kind of trailer do we? Let's do a blue trailer. Like did they, they did the same to Colorado. I mean, that's what happens with anywhere. If it's cheap to live there, people will choose to live there. And then it gets expensive, and then people move out, and then it gets run down, and then people start to move back in and revitalize, and then it becomes, you know, it's a cycle. It's kind of what's happening to Detroit. It was a big uh, factory city, and now they're, like, doing a lot of good stuff to it, and people are starting to move back, and uh, prices are going up. You know, it's one of those things. But Detroit's got a lot of cool stuff. Really good art scene up there. But was not Detroit, like, high, like, high criminal rate? Wait, what'd you say? Wasn't Detroit, like, high criminal rate, though? I mean, it was for a time. But, I mean, same about most of these larger cities. It just, it just depends. Once you get so many people in a space, it's bound to happen. And then once it gets super expensive, then people have a little bit more of a, a reason. Just like how shoplifting is so bad in San Francisco and also like car break-ins. Oh damn, bro, like a lot of things in Walmarts are like locked behind cases now. Yeah, I know. It's, it's unfortunate, but also it's like, eh, what you gonna do? All Even right. socks. We were at Walmart the other day and socks I haven't were seen locked that. behind cases. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, shit, I was about to go yeah. the wrong way. <laughs> Gotta be making these turns real wide. Just a warning. Uh, Damn. Oh, 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 I'm gonna hit. Am I? No, I wasn't. I gotta like go in this view. I Can can't you imagine, tell. Imagine like if I just like need a break, I just turn on the remote play and let Luis just play for me. <laughs> <laughs> like get on in here, lud. Right, right. Just like give him a chance to play while I AFK. <laughs> gotta go pee real quick. Take the wheel. He's kind of like your passenger. Oh. Where does this go? Never mind. Don't go here. I thought this was a secret path. Wait, wait, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. Or I can go by first. You, you just stay there for a second. And then keep backing up. That works too. Hey, <sighs> brother, I'm in first place. I'm in no. I feel like we always start talking about driving in cities whenever we're playing this game. So I'm getting a little worried because the thunder's getting a little louder and, um, yeah. If I disappear. If you disappear, you were struck by lightning. Yep. All right, Penessa, we'll hold a, a funeral. Who should I get Please to say the eulogy? You. Anybody want to volunteer in chat? You got a red trailer, I got a blue trailer. So America. fat. Did you just say I'm so fat? What'd you say? <laughs> no, I said you're going so fast. Like what brand is your truck? Western Star. I like Western Star. Maybe I should get a new truck. If you have enough, you absolutely should. I like Western Star because it's like a good mix of, you know, fast, maneuverable, and uh, heavy hauling. I like it. I I did lose quite a bit from our last convoy, so Ooh. maybe not yet. Something to build up to. You can save. Are those pumpkins? Or I could just pawn the money mod like some other time and just, you know, quickly get that back. <laughs> Gosh dang. You could also just take out a $400,000 loan and get it. But that means that's being debt. It's it's fake money, it's all right. No, but like, you know, oh god. Oh, oh! Ah! That's a huge line. Why am I getting 
charge the fuck gotta turn your lights on apparently oops i i really hate that as like a ticket thing you know what i was in california there are some places where you have to drive with your lights on no matter what time of day it was that seems like overkill what it's it's just like a certain area we were going to uh sequoia national park and it was uh right before that going from whatever that city is you just hit them uh, oh i don't know but well, you know they deserved it they were in my way damn all right a little more uh oh. ma'am problem sir yeah possibly all right y'all also you know what i'm really excited for that i know you probably don't care too much about city skylines two it, it, like what is that like what are you doing it ruthless i literally yeah it's just a city builder i love city skylines one and it is amazing and city skylines two uh, it fixes so many problems from City Skylines 1 and just looks so much better and there's, you know, a lot of mods that people loved incorporated into the base game now and like, it just looks amazing and I am, that's one of the games that I just like will buy hand, like, automatically when it comes out. That and Flight Sim 2024. It's, it's that tism in it. Yeah. yeah, I don't see that as being my type of game, but that sounds cool. Yeah, it's definitely not for everybody, but I fucking love it. I have sunk so many hours into that game, and it's also one of the games to where it's like, all right, we're just going to play a little bit, and then it's like midnight, and I'm like, shit. I started this at two. Yeah, it's... Me with Sims, though. Yeah. But like, oh my god, guys, I'm... Oh, you can tell the type of games that I fucking ever, love. Like, would you ever consider streaming Sims? I, I like Sims, but like, I it gets repetitive really fast. Like with City Skylines type of stuff, there's a lot of like building on to previous things. I mean, same with the Sims, but like it's they're different types of games. Yeah, I get it. Like, but like, there's always like challenges you can do which would, like, spice this mm. game up. Yeah, I mean, I'm more into the, like, the simulation and city builder type stuff versus more of the Sims type of things. Like, more of a... I was always more of a, like, Sim City roll, roller coaster tycoon type thing versus Sims. You know, I've actually never played Roller Coaster Tycoon except, like, one oh. time, a long time ago with my friend at her home. And, um, mm -hmm. it was not my type of game, to be honest. Yeah, it's a little bit of that management built into it as well. Like, City Skylines is, like, equal city builder and city management game. Uh, I'm not very good at managing things. <laughs> Considering I'm the one who plans all of the trips and makes a shared calendar and a shared packing list and, you know, spreadsheets for everybody, it's right up my alley. That is a surprising one, but I can see that, <laughs> especially because I'm like always sleeping in the weirdest times and then not getting on mm. when I say we'll play games. And, yep, yep. You know, yeah. Bad at managing your own life can't be trusted with the city. That's basically what Nissa said. Also, I need That's to okay. Sleep. All right, uh, I'll pull over with you at this rest stop. Yeah, it's. It's just something in it that, like, Damn, I just... Damn, this rest stop's on the other side. I love it. What the hell? All right. Just cross over. Jump it. You know, that has two different meanings. Die, jump it and then die. Why did we slow oh, down so much? I'm doing it right now. Why did the chicken cross the other road? You know, for the longest time, I... I knew that like the chicken crossing the road joke, I knew it was to get to the other side, but I was like, 
Okay, that seems pretty surface level. And then somebody informed me that that means the chicken wanted to die. And I was like, oh. On over. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's hardcore parkour. Okay, but like about the chicken joke, <sighs> for the longest time as well, I never thought of it as like dying. So that just shows how literal I take things. Yeah, no, same. Open. Port of entry. Pulling for a vehicle inspection? No. No! Fuck you. One fateful day. Fateful? Fateful? One fateful day. The TikTok showed that it was indeed not just a literal joke or an anti joke. Yeah, no, I just assume a lot of those are anti jokes. <laughs> yeah, same. I don't know. One of those things I just kind of like, I just look it up in my spare time, like a long time ago. A lot of them I've already heard and like gone through the whole process of like, oh, okay, I get it. But like a long time ago when I was a kid, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so we're like, ah, yeah, I totally get it. Ah, why is everyone laughing? Ah. <laughs> it's okay. I made up for that by being really good at, uh, a lot of other stuff. I am just good at making dick jokes. It's okay. That's a that's a good quality. I guess. Damn, so many cars. <laughs> Should I put that on my resume? <laughs> Skills. Um experience in C++ coding, uh great communication skills, um Dick joke extraordinaire. Uh, it's. I don't know what that last one's for. Maybe you're calling the cat. I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I can call cats even though I don't have any cats. Dude, I feel like such a, such a jackass writing my uh, uh, resume stuff because I've been writing, uh, putting together resumes. I have one for like music and one for photo stuff. Um, and like, I feel like such a jackass writing these cause it's like, oh, I increased, uh, oh, what? I'll pull it up in between, but I fit in my cat with those. They are dead asleep. But it's like increased, uh, photo process efficiency by 75% saving, uh, on average an hour of time for every shoot. And like, you know, just stuff like that. It's, oh. Do you want to pull over? Oh, you already pulled over to sleep. We're good. Yeah, I, I will not sleep on these Beep. roads. This is a lot of traffic and I don't know what the hell's going on. I feel like a feature in the game that they don't say anything is like if you're on time or like a little ahead they'll just throw something in your way to like fuck up your your drive you know i i do wish traffic was a little more um proportional to time of day and like location but uh there are mods for it but you know not not base game wise like rush hour and you know midnight versus you know 8 a.m or 5 p.m Ooh, I would like that. Yeah, there's a lot of mods, especially for city skylines. You have the like the dinner rush. Oh, there's a yacht. Hey, what? Where? Oh, that's or tra so cool. school traffic. I have to deal with school traffic where I live because there's too bad it's too fucking dark. colleges and high schools. Yeah, I know, right? You yeah, know, there, there's some mods for skitty skitty skylines. Ooh city skylines that have like you know so i've rush spent the like, majority of my life living in cities so like you got uh light pollution everywhere you passed through them to go to work my mm, same a couple of years back my sister and i and like some of her friends and her husband whatever we went to this beach
beach that's like more in a more secluded area. Oops, and I oops. saw so many stars. Oh shit. I saw so many stars that night. And I was like so happy to see that. I want to like go like star see. What's the word term? Star seeking? Stargazing. Know. It's stargazing? But like there's there's actually an app, not an app, a website called uh, Dark. Nope. That's a different thing. You can look at uh, National Dark Sky sites. And uh, I went to one that was completely dark. It's Arches National Park. You could probably go to like Rio Grande National Park and uh, that'd probably be a dark sky zone. But uh, you can see the Milky Way with your bare eyes and like Arches and Canyonlands National Parks are like the most stars that I've ever seen. And it is beautiful. I wanna, I wanna see like that. Holy shit, that sounds amazing. Florida has all of them, the dark sky zones. I want to see the Aurora lights. Mm, that's on my bucket list. Stars, they have all of them? All right, Give let's them back. take a trip, trip what the hell? to Alaska. I, Alaska's on my bucket list, especially to go see whales and like go to Denali and Denali National Park, I think is what it's called. I've, I've been to a lot of national parks in my life, but like I really want to go to pretty much all of them before I die. Oh my God, I wanna, my friend, uh, she and her husband went to Alaska and they like saw like the whales and all that shit. It's like, mm. honestly, I would love to do that. Just like go to Alaska. Stonehenge is on your bucket list. It would be really cool to see that. I love historical stuff. Yeah, there's like the different types of trips that I like like i like relaxing trips i don't really go to party anywhere but like going to see national parks is really cool and then also museum trips those are my absolute favorite kind of trips or even just like going somewhere relaxing and just going to like coffee shops and restaurants and stuff you know food trips museum trips nature trips those are my three types of trips summer solstice so, uh, yes that sounds <gasps> like my kind of thing also see ya damn all right yeah, no, that would be really cool. I've never been out of the country, but Switzerland is on my bucket list of places to go. I am not like a big nature person. I don't like going outside because I hate bugs and animals. New York to Florida seeing stars. Me. Yeah. So like doing food trips is, is like more my thing. Yeah, that's all right. I know that the first time that I really saw like a bunch of fossils and I was like, oh shit, was the natu national national. <sighs> It was a history museum, Nash Natural. I'm having a stroke. It was a natural history museum in Chicago. And it was like so many historical things there. And I was like, holy shit, this is really cool. It was just like seeing big old dinosaur skeletons Whoa. and what's real and what's I not. Did go, you know, like replication. Uh, with my family, we had like a, an Austin trip that we did for the weekend. And we did go hiking which was really freaking long and honestly I hated it because I was not used to walking for like five hours. Ooh, yeah, that'll do, but yeah. we did go to, um... Wrote a paper on oh, Stonehenge shit, in college? Um... Obsessed ever since? Yeah. That's how it happens. Natural Bridge Caverns. That sounds familiar. So, like, we were inside, like, a cave system and it was really nice. You know, living where I do, there's a lot of caves where I am, so, like, for school trips, I've been to pretty much every cave in this state, and uh, it is creepy being in a cave because on every trip they turn out the lights and they're like, "This was what you would see going in here," but like, ah! okay, I'm fine. But like, they're ginormous caves too. Like you go in and it's like, you know, eight stories high ceiling, and you're like, you know, sixty feet underground plus, and it's it's so weird, but like so cool at the same time. You backpack ready? Oh, there you so, go. Did you meet no one? <laughs> yeah, he actually came crawling out. He didn't speak English when I uh, met him initially. <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> yeah. No, caves scare me. Like, they're really, really tight caves. But, like, a cave tour is. Don't merge onto me, you bitch! You see him? I just imagine Noah crawling out of like a dark hole. You guys see that dinosaur? Like jump <laughs> Nissa, did you see this dinosaur over here? You think it's real? 
the hell? I didn't see that. Oh no. Just one when you were really young, yeah. Um, there's a cave near me called Onondaga Cave, and uh, that's the one that sticks out in my head. That and like Merrimack and some other places. Yeah, there's there's lots of lots of caves. Oh my god. I need to this go the other way. Squeeze. Only water things to do in Florida? That's okay. That's like the main draw. Yeah, the one uh, at Silver Dollar City. I think I've been in that one. That was like one of the things that I did so much as a kid, just going in caves and stuff. Love science. But like, nothing I could do for a living, but like, I absolutely love anything science related. I'm gonna go check outside again, because... Oh, it's... Thundery. All right. That and like, uh, we also went to the Adler Planetarium in Chicago and like going to a planetarium is really cool. Always been a rock girly. Noah likes geology a lot too. I think geology is pretty cool. Walk through the bayou. You know, I, the Everglades in Florida are a really cool phenomenon because it's just like a really, really wide, really yeah, really wide, slow moving river, basically. And it's it's so cool. Yeah, the Everglades are it's one of those things that's like in danger of dying, basically. But like it's oh, mm -mm -mm. so many cool nature things. So the unfortunate news is I might have to get off <gasps> until the storm passes. How Mick dare you? Sorry. Blame, blame the weather. Damn it. Well, go out there and tell it to go away. Should I go? Should I start singing? Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Uh, yeah, but do it outside. No, I want to do it right here. No. I'm gonna sing it, for you. it won't work. You got a rock collection, but it's really just rocks with quartz in them. Yeah, I know. I've been there. Truck looks naked from the back. I don't know how I feel about that. Mine? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks so exposed. It's got a whole like guard on it and everything. Huh? Anyway, I'm gonna get off. I'm so sorry. I was not, it was not Dang. my agenda to have a thunderstorm. I guess. Yeah, I'm sorry, <laughs> buddy. Good luck. Yo, Ram. What do we want to do? Do we want another one? Do we want to do like a cow? I used to bring rocks home with me from trips. You know? We'll just stay how we are. Um, what other jobs do we want to do? It's all right. It happens. Uh, let's look at what we can do with trailers. One hundred and eleven thousand dollar job. Let's try to use one of our own trailers. Yeah, oh seven. Up. Uh. That wasn't me. Y'all didn't hear shit. <laughs> um, we can try doing like a, a triple triple trailer job. If we really want to push it. Um, or we can look for uh, it's a logger. Figure the logger. Hmm. These are fun. Okay. What do you guys think we should do? What kind of uh, trailer you thinking? Hang it on your phone? All right. Sounds like a plan. 
What kind of trailer do you guys want to do? I'll leave it up to you. Unless I see something that I'm like, oh. This trailer's not being used, a D-shaped tank. <laughs> uh, we got a aluminum low boy. We got a gas tank. Um, aluminum flatbed double. The rain started slamming. That's all right. I like a rainy day. It's always good. Walk the rock trail and throw them into the lake. I'm going to call... I'm gonna call park services on you, Grayson. <laughs> kidding. No, I'm not. I'm kidding. Anyways. <laughs> oh, no, I get that. Some days it's just, you're just not feeling it. Let's... <laughs> what, are, what jobs can we get with this? I guess we can use the D-shaped tank. I don't know. Let's try it. Use. It's a long trailer. Uh, this is going to be in Las Vegas. During Pride Month. Got. Yo, can we get an exclamation mark Nissa in chat by a mod? Is there a mod here? Vanda bro. Lud. Make, we'll make Nissa an honorary mod just to use that command. Just have like eight badges on her name. You're not even going to be able to see your chat. Let VIPs do it. Oh, we could. Uh, can we get an exclamation mark Nissa LUD? Got. Oh my God. Hi, Echo. Hi. Yeah, see this tank? Oh, there's a little gnat in here and Echo's chasing it. <laughs> you see her trot out of the room? <laughs> Yeah, let's give some trees to Annie. Why not? Echo is an absolute killer. She's like, no. Oh, there she goes. She's tired. She's sleeping on a mouse. You see that mouse under her? She's like, no, I, I gotta, gotta protect my mouse. Oh, that's so cute. No, she's laying uh, directly on top of that. That's probably why she doesn't want to get up. She doesn't want Flash to take it from her. Echo. Echo, I just, Echo will eat the treat, but like she has to lick it, but only if I'm holding it, she'll lick it. And then she'll be like, okay, now I'm ready to eat it. Like, she's not the type of person that bites into hard candy. She like sucks on the hard candy and then is like, all right, I've got all that done. And then she'll like, just, you know, she does want princess treatment. <laughs> she's not like other cats. Mm-hmm. Very middle child energy. A hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. Damn. Echo does deserve princess treatment, but also chill. Anything coming from Denver? Fifty-three thousand got in. What about Roswell? No. Albuquerque? You know what? We haven't gone this route. 42k. Uh, not the best, but I mean. We're taking a new route. Apologize. No. 
No. She's gone. Damn, these songs are slapping. Also, um, I don't know if you guys care too much about like Apple software, but I recently downloaded the uh the betas for the new uh iOS and Mac OS and Watch OS. Oh my god, I love it. I do this every year. I download the betas, but like every time I'm still excited because I get to use all the new stuff. And oof, it's it's so much better on watch. Yeah, she is off chasing gnats. New places to see. People to people to fight. Just kidding. Echo doesn't really fight anyone. Alright, y'all. Let's take our comically long trailer. Start wearing your Apple Watch again. I I've told uh Caroline that she needs to start wearing it so we can do challenges for like fitness stuff. Because um I go, I've been running every morning. I'll take like a day off a week, but I've been running every morning and I'm really trying to like get some distance going. And uh, it's fun, it like gamifies it. And uh, they also added a mindfulness thing, which is basically just like a mood tracker. Like I love, I love shit like that. A day off? Yeah, you don't want to hurt yourself, Grayson. Like today was a relaxed day. So I only ran a mile this morning, but I ran a mile nonstop with no break, which is, mm, you need to wear your Fitbit again? That too. Not be running, but you do like for swimming? Yes, exactly. It, if it's getting you active, that's good. I like it because I can keep track of it. I've also got a spreadsheet for running so I can keep track of like total miles and average pace and all that. You can do it on Apple Watch and like the iPhone and all that, but I like having a backup spreadsheet. Need to get an Apple Watch? I, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to either wait for the, not this series, but the, the series after the, uh, Apple Watch 10, because I just upgrade every five, basically. And it's been working out fine. They last long enough. They're supported long enough. I'm either going to do that or get the Apple Watch Ultra. If I get this photo job, I'm going to get the Ultra because I need it to last a while and be able to like, you know, <laughs> get beat up a little bit because it's a lot of hauling stuff around and being in nature you should wait you don't have to wait like you can get this next apple watch or this current apple watch or the apple watch se like i don't think you need to me i just i've been getting some every now and then like i, I gotta i just get them on a certain time and it works out fine for me so i just stick to it i had the one and now i have the five and then I'll probably wait until I get the 10. Gonna take, oh, all right, you're all good. Your mom changes your sheets. Hi, mom. Here's the series three, technically works fine, but yeah. You know, that that's how I feel. I do, the one thing I do get is I do get a new phone every year because if I have a phone for more than a year, I tend to, to drop it and break the screen. But uh, if I get a new phone, I I guess I just take better care of it. I don't know what it is. It's that and also like the phone is stronger every year. So, I mean, that might be a bit of it. It's just one of those things. It's like a little treat to myself. Do I need to? Absolutely not. But like, you know, except I'm skipping a version so I can just get the 15 this year since it's just a couple months. It's gonna suck when your house is finished because you have to do it yourself. It's not that bad, don't worry. I've, I've, one time I've broken my phone. It was my iPhone 5. Uh, it wasn't my fault, but it was on the charger and somebody uh, accidentally bumped the charger and it dropped. And uh, the other time was me. I dropped my iPhone 7 on the ground. And yeah. <laughs> RIP right on the screen. And I was like, God damn it. Like I knew as soon as I dropped, I went, it's cracked. Man, it like dropped right on a rock. You want to get rid of your phone case though? Get a new case. The one thing I will say is get yourself a nice phone case just for the fact that I think it's worth it. Like I wouldn't get like a super bougie phone case, but for me, I like the, I get the Apple phone cases cause I just like the feel of them. 
You know, like they're they're not super thick. Do I gotta back up into here? I don't think I've heard of that. Also, I, I really want to get a MagSafe case with this next phone, especially with the new, like, standby they're doing with the iPhone. And also, just so I can, like, it doesn't have to be an Apple one for that, but uh, a MagSafe one, especially so I can have it, like, mounted and charging at my desk. Like a magnetic charge stand. I really want one of those. It's like when I'm editing photos or something, or like... Oh, any of those use cases. Do you guys see this? I'm in third person view, but it's okay. Nobody's perfect. Ooh. The coupling! It's not what I meant to do. Loading. Woo! But like, my phone case is literally just like... One of these, you know, it's it's a little thinner, but it it does the trick. I dropped my phone and go to mount, and we're okay so far. Gonna get a app hide before you get an Apple Watch. You know, um, if I was gonna do a lot more schooling, or if I did more art on my iPad, I definitely would do that. I, I lean more towards my MacBook than my iPad, but I think in terms of like use cases, iPhone, Apple Watch. MacBook, iPad. I love my iPad and especially for like photo editing and stuff and like just like using it on the go, especially to show people stuff if I really need it quick. We're just doing like design work. But uh, I don't know. It's, I just, I haven't been using it a lot. Digital planners, oh my gosh. I, I love GoodNotes. But then again, I don't, if I had to use it more and like write write more notes down, I would absolutely, because I love writing on my uh, my iPad. I used it for all of my sheet music would go on there. So every single piece of sheet music I would scan in at home and it would be on my iPad and it was amazing. And I could zoom in and annotate and like, ah, uh, it's so good. You can also have like pedals where you can automatically turn pages. And I, I would use good notes for all of my lecture stuff and I would import the syllabus in there and any extra material and uh it was 10 out of 10. i loved having ipad for school now i don't really use digital planners for me it's kind of like a mix of i use notion for like business planning and content planning and all that kind of stuff and like stream stuff so that's what i use for all that and then other than that everything goes in my calendar uh random thoughts and all that will go in my notes and then pretty much everything goes in my calendar so calendar and reminders are what my planner would be just because it's easier to show up on my phone i think you know and i get reminders Ooh. oh no 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 i thought he was gonna like get over here oh he is all right y'all just kidding this is my own trailer though do you guys like my trailer it looks pretty cool it's a wave the poop wave it's brown but this trailer is just like it's it's kind of comically long like why is this trailer so big who knows you have what do you know i but technology is so cool like the things that you can do with just like technology now is amazing your entire job is making calls with people and then later trying to remember everything you said so follow up on notes are a must yeah no i feel that i take notes a lot uh, i'm trying to set up a meeting with these people to edit a video for them it's like a big old uh animal rescue in the area and i'm gonna edit a video for an event that they have later this year potentially still in the speaking phases but they, you know, it, it was going to be a thing last year, but it was kind of last minute. So they're like, hey, next year, we'll contact you in July and we'll do that. And so for that kind of stuff, like meeting notes, that's like a notion thing because I have it linked up to a job and that's linked to a contact. And like, I, I'm i a big notion person when it comes to all that, you know, love it. Struggle with notes, though, because you can't 
dog and ride at the same time. Yeah. Like, I love, like, the abilities of, like, text-to-speech on those things, but it's hard to... Hard to find a way to, like... I wish I could get a transcript of a call and just kind of, like, put it in my notes. I'm sure there's a way you could do that. Because, like, a lot of these things, like, you can transcribe voicemails and transcribe voice notes and stuff like that. Uh, I, I do wish that you could... You could do that. That would be great. Like, I would love that for, like, client meetings and stuff. I don't know. That's something that I would definitely use a lot. Because I got to, like, pause. I'm like, all right, give me a second. Let me write this down. Hurry up! Places to be! Wah! All right. Fuck off. I see that? God. Absolute audacity. Oh. That bitch wasn't even turning. Fuck it, we go. Also, so some of the people that I, uh, the bigger streamers that I watch, uh, a couple of them are in Japan right now. And I'm like looking at all their stuff and I'm like, there's there's no streams for these um, while they're there. And it's like IRL stuff sometimes. But uh, it's just interesting seeing people be in another country. And like Noah's sister is in Paris right now. And like a friend of mine is in uh, Arizona. And like a lot of people I know, another person uh, just came back from Fiji. And, like everybody I know is traveling right now. And it's like, I wanna go on a trip so bad. I, I got that travel fever, you know? Like, oh my God. Oh, but damn, everything is expensive to travel. Even just doing like a weekend thing is like at least $500. Like for the hotel room, for the food, for the gas to get there or to like fly out or like, I don't know. A thing that I've been thinking about is like taking Amtrak up to Chicago and staying there for like a couple days, walking around, you know, doing stuff like that and then like taking the Amtrak back down because it's like a whole day thing to do that to like go take the Amtrak up it's like eight hours from the nearest station and then uh, you get there but the Amtrak station is like pretty close to downtown Chicago too I don't know I feel like it'd be kind of embarrassing walking around the streets with your luggage though you know I don't want to do that the hell I ain't sure as hell ain't calling an uber to get there just kidding I might I'm going on a trip I don't want to walk with all my luggage I'm gonna get my 37 pairs of underwear that I packed just in case I shit myself every day of the week twice stolen I don't know why I do that you know that and socks I pack an abhorrent amount of socks and underwear for every trip I go on I've gotten a little better about it but like it could be a two-day trip and I have like 10 pairs and I'm like, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. You never know what's going to happen. Just like a dewy morning on September. No. I just watched a documentary about that, actually. It's pretty good. Very tense. Like, it was really good. Some footage that I, I'd never seen of uh, that day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got some news for you. You know? It's the first time hearing about it. Can we, like... Trailer damage! I forget how long this bad boy is. What do we got? Can we, like... Oh, it... It cut me off! Rude. Rude... Oh my god, I forgot to mention something earlier with Spotify. Spotify recently made an update. And uh, they have this three column layout now for desktop. And it is not good. Like the only place that it kind of makes sense is if you have like a 4K monitor. And it's like, uh, you got a lot of space on that monitor. That's fine. But like on anything small, it's basically like three phone screens smushed together. 
and it is not it. Mm -mm. Spotify's design choices lately have been questionable. Double yellow? Eh, it's probably all right. Oh, we should probably sleep soon. Oh, uh, oh no. Uh huh. Mm. We're in single player. Avoid location. Oh. Oh, awesome. We're gonna we're gonna pass by a place. I I forgot that we're not in the convoy anymore. I was like, oh shit. We're gonna stop. But it didn't stop us, thankfully. Last time it did, but I think it's because we started up a convoy. Oh, no trailer damage. 1% trailer, but no percent anywhere else. There's that gnat <laughs> flying right by my face. The hell? I think that uh, gnat's got something against me. Maybe it wants to talk. Sure, it ain't got nothing good to say. It's so quiet. Got everybody else here. Oh, this is. Oh. Mm. That was close. Yeah. Thanks, Lud. This is. What? Is that supposed to be a yawn? This is how? Blood, do you want to play on this account? <laughs> Just kidding. Us. Damn. Farming team discovered. We've never been here. We're going to pull up here and uh, sleep and get some gas real quick. Volvo. Wait. Oh, no. Nope, the other way was right. No. No. Yes. No, it's this way. I don't know. What am I doing? Let's turn the music up. Sorry, VOD. You can't hear this. If you can. Oops, I did something wrong. Prepare a little bit of that trailer. At least we're on the same page. All right, y'all. Actually, we're going to go. We're going to go back the original way it wanted us to go because we actually should have gone that way. Believe it or not, we are sh jumping the shark here. It sounds cool, but it's not what we're supposed to be doing. There's that. Oh, holy shit. How do these flies even get in here? What the hell? I open the door and they're like, go, 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 go. What the? They're just like waiting outside. Fuck off, flies. God. Can I like get a restraining order against them? Mm -mm. Recruitment agency. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, okay. Should put a long load warning on the back of this bad boy. I don't think we could, though. Anybody know where we're at? Can anybody guess the state we're in? They get nothing, but like, if you guess, you get the satisfaction of knowing. Long load? Never heard that? Gallon oil. It's a lot. The only problem with sleeping in single player is you actually sleep, you know? Which, uh, that's unfortunate. 
So by the time we wake up, it's going to be like later afternoon. All right, y'all. So do we just pull in and back out? Wait. Huh? Okay. 10 p.m.? How much you sleep? You don't get paid to sleep that much. Is it raining? Hey, Nissa brought the weather into the game with us. We could probably drive a new truck too, if we wanted. All right, y'all. I'm gonna scoot up. Income, $5,636. Rain's all right, for now. Dude, I... I wish it rained more. It... In my hometown... Well, I say hometown. Uh, in... In the town I lived in the longest. Uh, before this town. It rained a lot, and I lived by a river. And so it was like a good amount of rain, and it rained hard, and... It rained for a while whenever it did and here there's no river anywhere and it's kind of sad because we had a lot of restaurants and like coffee shops down by the river where you could sit outside in the evening and like you know just seeing water in general like people are happier whenever they see water and uh i definitely miss that part of it just having like a big old body of water near me oh it's fun it's relaxing you know we got some lakes around here but it's not the same I'm gonna live by water again. Too bad it's expensive. Do you want to hear what my uh, rent for my first apartment was? It was five hundred dollars a month for rent. It's a one bedroom, one bath, living room, and a kitchen, and it was shitty. That was the first apartment that I had. That is the apartment that. Every time it rained, the the oven hood would leak water onto my stove. I also caught a uh, I caught a pot of macaroni on fire on that stove too. I have a video of it. We had like a, a couple like cameras in the house for the cats, and uh, one was in the kitchen because they like to climb on the counters. What the hell are you doing? But anyways, um, I was just making macaroni one day and uh, it, it caught on fire. I don't know how, but I was like, oh my God. And no one came in there and he's like, oh. <laughs> I've come a long way. Now, why in the hell? Why in the hell are you all in that lane? Fuck off. Can we go? You know what? I'm gonna make the decision for myself. Oh, of course, when I start going, the light turns green. We're not even going to knock over. Anyways. Detour my ass. We're going this way. With seven cop. Let's run over one of his signs just to be petty. Fuck your sign. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, this guy knocked over? Loser! Loser! Wait. I, oh, okay. All right, moving on. Oh, it's only eight o'clock. Damn. I haven't really streamed a lot this week and it feels weird. But I feel like I barely streamed at all. Mm -mm. Welcome to colorful Colorado. Hell yeah. We're going up through Moab. I wonder if we can, uh, if it's like a scenic route going up that way. I guess we'll find out. We're going up by Durango, kind of. It's hard to see anything. A little drink of water. How's everybody doing? We all chilling? Having a good time? The answer's no. Keep it to yourself. 
put a disclaimer out there damn that's a big old gas station i will say the texas dlc has the biggest gas stations i think water no coffee you have juice what kind of juice though one for vehicle inspection <laughs> nah nah not nah. uh peace out v8 uh i had some cranberry juice today every time i go into work uh i have water i've, I've drank like a couple like, ah! dead they're dead i drink a couple things of water at least and then i'll go into work and i'll have like a juice or something just get some sugar in thanks venus always looking out uh he wasn't stopping and i sure as hell wasn't stopping because i couldn't i'm really liking the music today like it's it's hitting the spot that i needed to hit and that's the spot no, no no yeah definitely his fault you guys saw you're my witnesses you are my witnesses thanks for witnessing with me today oh also by the way like i was saying earlier with the game sale i'm thinking about starting a dark souls playthrough and then dark souls 2 playthrough what do you guys think about that since we just did hollow knight they're kind of similar in like their classic games and i feel like i've i haven't played them before the hell throw them back on we taking all the simply raspberry lemonade out of the work break room hey raspberry lemonade smacks Dude, no it's we just so we have like a, a couple bars at work and so they have like juice to make cocktails and stuff but we don't use the juice a lot so uh i use i'll have like apple juice or cranberry juice or grape juice or you know stuff like that and i'll take it from the freezer or we'll have like a ginger ale but uh that's all for me and then just water I gotta be careful because like I oof, I'll go to town on those drinks sounds good to you nice also we're gonna be play, doing a playthrough of Bramble in the Mountain King here soon and uh, there's also a game called nothing but up or something like that they have uh, two fridges in each break room and one is filled with a bunch of juice and milk for coffee you know if I could I would definitely have coffee in the mornings after a run but that adds up hella quick in the drawers the drawers of microwave popcorn dude microwave popcorn is the bomb i love microwave popcorn the problem is i go through that shit like nobody's business oh orville's mm. Mm -mm -mm that they got the kettle corn the slightly salted ones like they got the extra movie movie theater butter popcorn oh it's it's so good and then you got the boom chicka pop the purple bag the kettle corn oh my god that's mm, oh mm. microwave cop <laughs> you don't know no, i'm stopping there exactly Anyways, that's all I have to say. I have nothing else to add. I, you know, I do actually have something else to add. So there's a lot of back roads that I... <laughs> well, I've already hit you, so I might as well just kind of push you out of the way, trooper. He's not giving me a fine. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no, that one was my fault, but actually not because he's a cop but like whenever you're driving back roads my it depends how much scary stuff i've been watching or listening to around halloween is the worst like because i when it gets to be around halloween like that september october timeline i go hard in on the spooky stuff like i podcast i watch videos scary movies scary games scary i don't know just like everything's scary and so like i'll just be like uh, in my mind whenever i travel more especially around the holidays like i'll go travel to see people a lot more also i love 
colder weather more because I can, well, I like warm weather, but cold weather, you can dress, there's so much more variety of clothing that you can do. So I don't know if I could live somewhere, I could. I, I would live somewhere where it's warm most of the time, but I would love to live in a place that's not here that still has seasons just so I could wear winter stuff like coats, scarves, sweaters, sweaters with collars under them, you know, like just like a whole bunch of different stuff. There's there's so many things you can do. Mm. It's Pride Month, so we're actually in the right. Yeah, no, thank you. You're right. You're so right. You watching ghosty stuff all year round. Yeah, I the thing is like with me and like streaming like I try to save some of the spooky stuff for like when it gets closer because especially during October I really want to do some like some marathons of like watching stuff and like when uh when uh the the Texas Chainsaw game comes out I want to watch Texas Chainsaw on the discord before we you know start playing it on stream and you know just do like fun events like that I need to plan a Friday the 13th night too there's a lot of stuff I got to plan but I have not also, damn, we're in really cool, like, we're in a really cool area. Hole in the rock! There's an achievement for that. No, it's uh, for nowhere. We're in Utah right now. Let's plan it. Yeah, damn right. Anyways, I've been going on so many tangents, but that's okay. But like, oh my God, I fucking love. We're, let's sleep so we can just get the, the daytime in. I just want it to be day while we're driving. Is it some cool, cool stuff? Let's go. Ooh, is that a, no, it's a cinematic. I thought it was a, uh, a repair spot. But I freaking love when it starts getting colder because I can break out all my sweaters and all my, all my, uh, my cold weather gear and like I can turn my seat heaters on and I can uh you know have the the heat on in my car and like it's it's just so cozy like fall uh, the only problem is for me I get in a little bit of a funk in the fall but I think it's just money based you know I can't go out and do all these fun these fun fall things because it all costs so much if I had a little bit more money to go do things I'd be I'd be a little a little bit more of a happy camper but I love fall. Yeah, Lud, Lud agrees. Like, especially when the leaves start changing colors, like spring, summer, like there's great things about every season, but like just all of the holidays around fall too. It's, there's something about it. We're gonna go to this, um, this repair shop. There's just something about it that, that puts me in my prime. Like I, I get kicked into second gear. You know what I mean? Because, like, summer's fantastic, and I, I, I really love summer for all of the stuff you can do, and it's fantastic. But, oh my god. Oh, fall is just something else. You can wear your sweatshirts and not have people look at you like you... Yeah, 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 yeah yep, yep. No, I feel that. $40,000. Oh, it's killing me. Damn, they're going off with this guitar solo. Sheesh. Can I, like, turn around here? Also, Utah is amazing. But, uh... It's also really hot there. If I were to move anywhere, I would probably move... to Colorado or Washington State. Those are, like... the two places on my list where I'm like, I would love to live there. California would be nice, but it's a little outside my budget. But, yeah. You can dress like a, oh my God, yeah, yeah. I have an excuse to say a hoe never gets cold. Yep. I feel that. That's what I love about summer as well. Summer, I can wear like, you know, we got some crop tops, we got some short shorts. Like it's hot as fuck outside. Nobody's gonna say shit to me cause I'm wearing shorts. I'm comfy and I'm not burning up. Like it's fantastic. The only problem is I can't wear some of my, my other stuff if it gets too hot, like, I can't wear pants at all in some of these outfits. So, like, I need, like, a middle ground in the summer. Mm -mm. Yeah, a hoe doesn't get cold. Mm 
We freaking love you, Tom. Can I go on this route? Damn it. This is the way that you turn to take a scenic route to get onto Highway 70. So you can go off at 70 and take this route and it is beautiful. Get the three inch inseam? Damn right I do. Damn right. I walk around with this three inch inseam. I'm like, I am the shit. Mm, I love it. And it's so comfortable. And they're track shorts, so they're lightweight too. And I got like a little, a little uh, over the shoulder bag that I wear and it like sits here and I put my phone and wallet and keys and all that stuff in there. So like, I, it's, it's accessorizing. The only thing I really need is like to get some necklaces and some like, you know, different necklace, maybe some rings. I, I got a specific style I'm going for, but you know, we, we work with what we got, right? It's expensive to buy new clothes. We got some good thrift stores around me. I got this shirt at the thrift store and I love it. Oh, it's that time of day, everybody. Hold on. Golden hour. Mm, I love golden hour. They, uh, they cut some branches on this tree in front of my window just to like, you know, they were coming through clearing some branches for some power lines and all that. And now I get a really nice golden hour light in this room and it is fantastic. This is more of like a morning light room. So like this whole wall over here is lit up in the morning and then throughout the day, it's kind of dark. Now in the evening, oh, all this nice light shines in. It is fantastic. Boom, boom, ball. Damn, you know, every once in a while, I wish I had a, a nice deep sultry voice like this man. Um, but then again, I, it, it wouldn't fit my look. You, you'd see me and then you'd hear the voice and you'd be like, hmm, it'd be uncomfy. Okay. Anyways, besides all of the sub videos that I have been getting on my TikTok feed, another thing that I've been getting is, um, writing prompt Reddit posts that, uh, it's like somebody will post something a little story that's a writing prompt and then somebody will write a story based off it. So they're all like space related, like humans in space, like uh, humans going to war in space and humans doing blah, blah, blah in space. And like, I've been getting so many of those lately and uh, it's become the new creepy story phase for me. I still have those creepy stories and they work out good. Like some of them are good, some of them aren't good, but um, these humans and space stories have been really, really riveting. So I'll just sit there and like watch a nine minute TikTok. I'm like, oh shit. I'll just have it on in the background. I turned into a little bit of an iPad kid in a way. You know? Like Noah's definitely an iPad kid with his actual iPad. But like I carry my phone everywhere with me and I'm always listening to something. I also, well, keep in mind, I also know what's going on a lot of the time. A lot of it's like, you know, listening to like news podcasts and reading like different stuff going on in articles and like, you know, looking up info and like, it's, it's a lot of, I take in a lot of info every day. Like a lot of like, there's a lot of useful stuff and a lot of completely useless stuff. But like I'm always, always something going in. Reminds you, you need to work on your novel. And I think writing would be fun. I used to be really into film stuff. And I was like, I'm going to write a movie. I like it. I've come to terms with that is uh, that being something that I just, I don't think it's something that I'm going to do. It would be fun. I like writing, but I, it's more for like journaling purposes. Um, yo, we bypassed that way station. Oh, cool. I was going to do it anyways. Thanks though. What's seven? <laughs> but uh oh! Oh, it's okay. We can take this exit. What do you use to uh, write? Do you just use Google Docs, Apple Pages, uh, Microsoft Word? Like I don't, I don't know if there's specific drafting software. I think it's good. It's always good to have a creative outlet, especially if you work a job where you don't get to be creative. Oh, Google Docs is good. Very useful and free. Like it's, it's, 
it's a good way to get stuff out just like me and like music and photography and uh like making video stuff i may not be the best at some of those like uh i'm i'm really good at some aspects of music but really bad at others but it's still fun to do like it's fun to make music but it's not something that i would necessarily monetize i've definitely arranged a lot of pieces of music i'm pretty good at arranging and uh well some things pretty good at arranging for strings because i have the most experience doing that and like uh wind ensembles and stuff like that and i've had a lot of those pieces played uh in like high school and college ensembles so that's been fun having like my arranged pieces being played for concerts and uh it's it's something i don't talk about a lot but um stuff like that but it can also be like you you don't want to spread spread yourself out too thin it's like doing that versus working on music production stuff versus working on like lyrical music production more like trying to do like ooh pop stuff would be fun that one's not it and then like also doing photography and trying to do videography oh my god i spread myself too thin sometimes you have a main doc and then links to other docs where each character in the plot outline it's good world building Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff where you can also like just make a map. It'll like auto generate like just a random map. And like some people use that for stories just to kind of like establish a place. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, beep beep. Get, get fucked, cop. Oh, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Oops. No, that's really cool. Um, have I been on this road? I have been on this road, but going the other way. I don't think I've ever been this way. Yes, having having creative outlet is very important for mental health reasons and also just for like you know, just to do other stuff. Uh, okay, we're good. We almost ran into that tree. Writing and makeup are your two poisons. Yeah. Gotta have stuff that you like doing. It's fun. Makeup's a cool one. I think it'd be really cool. Noah's kind of into like nails and all that. And I was like, if you don't know what you want to do, just get certified. You can do nails short for schooling because he's like i don't know what i want to do which is valid i feel like that'd be good like you can make a good amount of money doing nail stuff and it's also like you get to talk to a lot of people and it's pretty cool it's something you like doing or you can just do it just because you like it you don't have to monetize every hobby it's okay <laughs> All right, y'all, let's go. You know, something I did do, I, I tend to hyper, hyper fixate on stuff and having so many hobbies that I've gotten into over the course of being alive. Um, they're all in like very, like it's basically three different groups of hobbies and I go back and forth between them all the time and it just rotates out, but like, Whenever this new uh, music software update came out and it's like big improvements, I wrote this whole whole orchestral piece for it. And it's like, uh, I have it somewhere. It's not too bad. It's, it's kind of amateur because I don't do a lot of that stuff, but like not for those larger groups, but it's like a completely original piece written in like three days. Uh, and it's like four or five minutes long. And I really like it. I think it's really cool. You can actually scroll back up in the discord and I, I posted it in like share your stuff. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ah, we're good. You want to be a professional makeup artist? You go for it. It's also just like doing that and like posting it online. It's a good way to get people involved in that. You're the crash command ready. Damn. Not, not yet. Not, not yet. Probably soon though. Knowing me. Wrangly. Dude, Greta Van Fleet, the main guy, Josh, he came out the other day. 
Woo! Let's go! Happy Pride Month! It's so exciting. If you don't know who Greta Van Fleet is, I like them. They're pretty cool. Why didn't I go for it? Oh, why didn't she go for it? It takes time. Money. Yeah, it's money is a hard thing because for me, I I feel like I do a really good job uh, with uh, photo stuff, but also money wise, it's not something that I can do full time. And that's also a problem for posting things and like getting models for stuff. And like, it's kind of like a cycle. Like you need money to do these things and purchase equipment for it. And then you need people and then you need money to buy supplies and stuff. And it's like, it's just a cycle. So if you don't, if you don't know enough people, it's hard to get all that going, which is a shame. But there's a lot of things like that. But it doesn't have to happen right away. It can be a slow build to it. It can be a slow build. Kind of got to be a side hustle until you're on your feet. Yeah, basically. Like for me, I have my my portfolio of photo work and that's not going away. And my knowledge of that info isn't just going to disappear, especially if I, you know, keep practicing. And so if it doesn't happen, you know, within, you know, a year, the next couple of years, it's something that I can always get back into later down the road. And same with makeup and same with, you know, any of these skills. As long as you're like practicing and you're getting better over time, it's just a matter of time for a lot of stuff on whether you'll like succeed with it. My one of my favorite quotes, it's a little little uh, little uh, cliche, but it's like the the only people who don't succeed are those who quit. Which is true, but also if you're continuing doing something and you're not getting any better at it or you're, you know, not making good stuff, then it's kind of worthless uh, for not worthless. Like if it's a hobby, that's one thing. But if you're trying to monetize it, that's definitely not going to be a thing. Always getting better, even though you've been practicing for 10 years now. That's all right. Always building up those skills. It takes a long time. Like I have played piano since I was three basically and I have like there's so much I don't know there's a shit ton of stuff I don't know and same with violin and saxophone I've been playing for over like 15 years at least and like I'm I'm decent at them I play it in you know an advanced level but also I am there's you're always learning you can always get better <laughs> Which is, a, it's a double-edged sword, you know? Man. Yeah, you, you can absolutely do it. Just a matter of time. Absolutely. Oh, here's the dinosaur. Everybody wave. Hi, Dino. Hey, Dino. What's his name? Venal? Okay. Um, completely different topic. Uh, speaking of stuff people like, um, Grayson's really into journals and, uh, oh, another one. This one's got a hat and a tie business dinosaur and a rope. Dude, is he going to fucking tie me up? The hell? Cowboy dino. Stick him up. Um, this, this isn't like a physical journal thing, but Apple has a journal app coming out and I'm excited for that. Cause it's like, here's all the stuff you did today and it'll like show it in the journal and like the music you listened to, exercise you did, you know, where you went that day or, you know, stuff like that. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. And same with like mood tracking and stuff. I am like a big numbers guy and a big data guy. So I love having all that data. You got to be careful though, because sometimes all that data can give you anxiety and some of it is mainly for just like entertainment purposes and can cause more harm than good. So, you know, careful looking at all that health data type stuff. But uh, as long as you're not stressing yourself out over it and um, using it more for just like, 
oh okay versus like oh my god something's wrong you know it's one of those things but a, a journal app's coming out and it's i think it's pretty cool because i already like you know do like a daily journal i have like a shortcut on my phone and it's like the mood you're in and like it just gives you like certain prompts and stuff and I, I've been doing it since like Jan... No, I've been doing it since like September of last year. And I, I like it because it's like looking back and seeing how far I've like come on certain things and all that kind of fun stuff. It's really cool to see. Big journals, small journals, hard covers, soft covers. Yeah, it's more of the act of journaling than like actually having a physical journal. But uh, I, I love physical journals too. I just have a hard time bringing it with me places because I like to travel light. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Wait. What the hell? Oh, stop the engine. I forgot this is our own trailer so we don't just drop it off. Late! Whatever. Late my ass. Late my ass. All right. D-shaped tank is going away. Dismiss. Dismiss. Let's see what other jobs we got. Freight market. Hello? My game just freeze for you guys too. Do we want to do a really long haul? What do you guys think? Long haul, or do we want to do, uh... Hmm... What are we feeling? Power generator. Okay. Maybe we can go to some places in California we haven't been. We haven't been, like, anywhere on this coast. I'm looking for something that goes... along this way to, like, Eureka, or... you. Yukia? Yukaya? Damn, that's a long one. Sheesh! Not that long. Oh, this is a good one. Cars, 11,000. We're just kind of trying to unlock some places right now. Uh, this is going to Redding. So we're going Redding to Eureka. Stop. Quick travel to Redding. We'll accept the job, and then I gotta take a, I got a GPG. Coca-Cola, Lola. Oh man, US Route 350 Wind Farm. I don't think we've been there. We've been to the other one in Colorado, in game. Okay, we need to go 58 minutes away. Sheesh. All right, I just want to get to the job first, and then we'll take a pee break. A GPG, as I uh, said. We'll go pace, girl. Down, down. Carol uh, said that uh, she'll be our, um, what is it? She'll, oh, she's with us in spirit. So, she's our cat. Caroline's reincarnated. She's not dead. She's just not here. Ew. Group bank. What if they got the redwoods in this game? Can I go to Sequoia? Yellowstone? No. I don't actually know if I can. I go. Oh shit, I can't go on that road. Secret road. Lola. See, I like this view and all, but like, I can't see anything in this view. So there's no like, little like bottom windscreen shown or anything because like the front of the truck is just flat up top you know and we haven't been this way at all
You doing okay back there, chat? Doing okay? Mm -hmm. I don't have any sheets on the bed. Grayson, uh, Grayson didn't put them on. And his mom's not here. Ooh, try not to flip. Oh, what? <laughs> Said your mom does it for you. Your mom's outside? Well, she's not in Northern California right now. Not that I know of. Although I don't keep track of your mom, so I don't know if she could be. You never said where outside. Enter free. Okay. No. Damn it, we didn't make it in time. All right. Uh. I'm looking for stuff that goes over. Damn it. Yo, we can carry Christmas trees? Hold on. Eh, well, it doesn't say Christmas trees. They're just regular trees. Never mind. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Come on. Nothing up the coast? What about San Francisco? You got anything going up? Oh shit, this song does fucking bop. We can do a, no, those take forever. I like these, but man, they take a while. Oh, Santa Cruz to Eureka. Yeah, that's it. Okay, we're going to go to Santa Cruz. Quick travel. Damn. This song's a fucking bop. Sometimes this will come on in the run. On my run in the morning, depending on what playlist I'm listening to. And I'm like, mm. I do have a playlist. It's called like... Um, groove and it is just like boom funky is all be at and like i love it it's, it's fantastic it's like the perfect thing to get you going in the morning all right 48 minutes to get there do not expire that goes everywhere we want it to even better than the last one okay guys We're good. <laughs> don't hit me. Don't, don't even think about hitting me. Don't look at me. I, I actually don't even exist. What the hell? 44 miles. Mm -mm -mm. Now, one thing I want to do sometime around whenever I, you know, move, if I do move, is I really want to get a Subaru. Either an Outback or a Crosstrek. One of those two. I really want one. I've I've been bitten. Bitten by the bug. It's just something about it, you know? I just... Mm. That's everything I want. Also, whenever it's snowy here, because it snows every year, and then I'm like, well, shit, I can't drive. Like, my car does all right in the snow. I'm an all right driver. But also, my, my little low... My low car can only do so much. Yeah, I want like a, a car that'll do well in the snow because I experience it every year and we always get a really bad snow every year and I can't fucking go anywhere. Especially can't go to work. And I'm like, God damn it. And also just for going on trips. Like uh, we went to Colorado one time and my, my car did well. Like we went through a mountain pass while it was snowing. Probably not the smartest thing, but like my car was, mm, it did a great job. But Subaru. Hmm. Also, it's more of an SUV thing. I think an SUV would be nice to have. Especially to fit all my uh, photo stuff in. And also just going on trips with friends. Oh my god. Oh. Yikes. 
There's Lud. Lud's bald. Lud, are you balding? All right, we accepted the job. Let's hook up. All right, y'all. Ooh, buddy, it's a low boy. Balding? Oh, not you. You got that, get that thick old head of hair. If you are, it's okay. You can either rock it, or they got some. They got some really good toupees for men. Okay, pausing. Let's skip. Need it. Need a good song. Here we go. This is for Lud. Okay, we're gonna go on a quick BRB. I'm leaving you on this screen. I don't know why. I just want to. This has the nicer BRB screen. Enjoy Kate Bush running up that hill. I didn't. 
How you doing? Welcome to stream. <sighs> Alrighty. Woo. Hydrate. I just got some water actually. Mmm. Here you go. That good enough for you? Seven hour trip, baby. What you been up to today, Grayson? How you been doing? Damn. Next. Ooh. We've been talking about everything you can imagine. Damn. My nose is itchy now. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see the ocean? We going over the P PCH? Pacific Coast Highway? No, that one's to San Francisco. Well, I guess it goes up here too. Yeah, it goes the whole way. Yeah, we're on Highway 1. The first highway ever. I'm no, just kidding. It's not. I got you a little bit though. And we're going to be flying down this road, by the way. So uh, buckle up. Take a look at the ocean. If you don't want to, close your eyes. Go to sleep. It's 729. It's going to be dark soon anyways. Yo, clouds. Oh. Dang. I don't think I've been this far up. <gasps> Tunnel. Seven in end game it is. Haha. <laughs> Nerd. Got pulled over. Yeah, in game. They said say something to me. Oh man. Good news for the Dark Souls playthrough. I already own Dark Souls 2 though. So that'll be good. That's the only one I own. I think I got it for free. Anybody want some weed? Hypothetically? In game? In Minecraft? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oops. 1% damage. I wonder who did that. Have a little look around. Where are we? What city is this? Oh, we're going up to San Francisco. Oh. Stop hitting the booth cannon and pay attention to the road. The heck? Do what I want. Let me do what I want. Come on, turn, 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 turn. We're on hills. Trucks on hills don't work too well. Damn, let's look at this trailers. Oh, damn. I feel like this thing would be scraping on some of these. Like, look at this one right here. Oh, that would have scraped. 100%. It's all right. It's not our trailer. Fuck it. Oh, man. Oh! Well, that's the median. Oh, the lights just turned on. Welcome to San Francisco. You've never been? You've been now. Like, just look at the trailer on some of these. Yeah, that's scraping. Maybe not on those, like, but like whenever it, it articulates like this. Oh, 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 okay, that'll do. I was supposed to turn. Oops. <gasps> Oops. Scoozy. Coming through. Get the hell out of my way. We're driving here. Beep beep. Vod, you're missing out on some of these songs. I'll tell you what. 
If I were you, I would feel hella left out. Kidding, we love you, VOD watchers. Seven. I took the wrong hand off. <gasps> We're gonna go across the bridge! The golden, the golden of the gates. Plus seven mile per hour speeding line. Fucking rude. The Golden Gate Bridge! I went over the Golden Gate Bridge once going north and once going south. It's a long bridge. Like I have a video of the whole, like the whole time going across. The gate that's golden, yes. The, uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I, I liked it. It was, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. And also, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge is pretty long. But you know what's even longer? The bridge over there. What is it? The Washington Bridge or something like that. The bridge that goes to Oakland. That thing is long AF. Also, uh, we, this is a toll bridge. But it's okay. <laughs> we'll just go right through. Dude, don't wreck into me. Whoa. Where'd that car come from? <laughs> Here it is, everyone. Dude, this song is fantastic for this. San Francisco is one of the highlights of my, uh, that California road trip way back in the day. That was so fun. That was one of the highlights. That in LA, they're so different, but so, such cool places. So, so different. All right, all right, all right. Move! Get over! So what other gates have you guys seen? We've seen the gate that's golden. What about the gate that's yellow? The lemon colored gate. The... The Musty Rusty Gate. Noah's seen Piss Gate. Piss Gate sounds like a... <laughs> like... <laughs> Ocean Gate? Sounds like a... Something the government's investigating. Pizza Gate? Oh god, I got pizza in the fridge. Now I'm... <gasps> what are you doing? It's getting in my lane. Saw the gate that stops me from getting into that one place. I run by a gate in the mornings. All gates. You're the gatekeeper. What the hell? You can't gatekeep gates. That's Lud's job. In this game, at least. In real life, I don't know. He walks dogs a lot. Lud used to go on runs. If he had an Apple Watch, I'd challenge him to do some of those, like, fitness challenges. Like running goals and all that you can do. It's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's gamified. Dude! Is this cop gonna give me a ticket? All right. All right. All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Fuck you. Anyways. <laughs> hey, cap. Oh, it, it won't go down! Guys, the volume won't go down. Okay, it's going down. Caroline added this. Oh, it's down all the way now. You can do no wrong during Pride Month. For the VOD, this is Crazy Frog. Yeah. I was obsessed with Crazy Frog back in the day as a child. It was that like golden era of like internet videos that was just like so weird. And like, I don't know. It's just, it, it was an interesting time. This song is going to be played at Carol's wedding if she ever gets married. And, uh, if it's not, I will make sure of it somehow. 
It's a, yeah, it's a cannon event. She can't interfere. Is that guy facing off against a tractor over there? Did you guys see that? I mean, even so, this song is a fucking bob. Dude, look at this old bridge. I love old bridge. You know what this reminds me of? Goatman Bridge. You guys ever watch uh, BuzzFeed Unsolved with Goatman Bridge? It's like, fuck you, Goatman. I love those guys. I love their, like, uh, they, they have a company called Watcher now, and, like, they do, like, whenever it starts to get a little more in that, uh, creepier time, closer to, like, you know, August, September, October, they start doing, like, uh, scary stories every week, and I love it. And they, like, they make, uh, drawings for them, too. Somebody's playing Aim Labs right now, you see that? You think they're any good? Can I check their aim lab stats? Dude! A cab! Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oops. What are we up to now? 61. You, well, we gotta hit a certain number, you know? Why are there no places to sleep here? Straight from Crazy Frog to ABBA. It's the way it has to be. All right, we have enough gas to get where we're going. I want to sleep though, cause like this is a really pretty area over here. Hey, also, if you're not following, you should follow. And if you're not in the Discord, you should join the Discord. And here's this. And this. That's not what I meant to do. That's not the button I meant to click. Shit. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, you got wide capped. Yeah, it scared me. Wide cap just happens when it happens. It's a cannon event. <laughs> Damn. Let's play chicken. I think we won. Kind of. Do -do -do. I need to install Flight Sim after stream tonight. I. You know what? I think we actually did lose. Now that I think about it and the way chicken works. Wait, how do I. If I wanna. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to sleep. Coca-Cola normal. Coca-Cola zero. I finished that for you. Oh, we the very small area that allows us to sleep. Are you kidding me? We went over it. Oh, it's raining. All right, let's go. It's raining, but it looks bright. Because you don't actually know the last part. Caroline never posted it. To be fair, I also never posted the video. It's, I forget after stream. It's hard to remember things whenever I'm not remembering them. You know? How many people do you think watch Adam Sandler movies? Memory recall malfunctioning. It's usually... Now, I have a pretty good memory when it comes to, like, images. Like, if I take a picture, I'm pretty good at remembering exactly what was going on. Or, like, uh, I don't know. I have the most random thing. Like, it's, I'm really good at recalling stuff. In random parts, you know? I don't know. Especially with photos, though. I don't know. It's, it just depends. 
really good at remembering some things. Really shitty about remembering anything else. Or like I'll, uh, I feel like this is a pretty common thing, but like you'll study for a test and then you'll just forget everything immediately after taking the test. It depends. Some tests, if I'm really like interested in the subject, that's one thing. Well, I mean, same with anybody. Oh, 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 hmm. Hmm, look at that river, that stream, creek. Yuck! Yuck! Charlie XDX knows. Damn. Guys, I will say, I'm hungry. I think... After this job, I'm gonna eat some pizza. My, oh, one of the tall trees! Oh, guys, it's the redwoods! We're driving through the redwoods. Woo! I forgot what command it was. Yeah. Dude, I love the redwoods. This is so pretty. Oh. Isn't nature so cool? Isn't simulated nature the best? <laughs> Sitting in my office, driving a truck. AP Bio chapter over the neurosystem has never left you, but you do. Oh, but do you remember yesterday? Yeah, yeah, mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. You know, every once in a while, I think about the Taco Bell Cantina on the beach in Pacifica, California. Because it was on our route, but it was later in the evening and we just didn't get the chance to go. And, uh, I miss it. We already went to a Taco Bell Cantina on that trip. But I wanted more. Damn, now I want some Taco Bell. I also need to do the dishes. I have no forks. I, I ate... I ate some leftover pizza with a spoon <laughs> earlier because I didn't feel like washing a fork. Um, let's let's do the the photo thing. Oh, guys, it's Bigfoot! Hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? The Legend of Bigfoot. Where is he? I don't see him. Fake ass. The big chicken though. Pizza with the- yeah, pizza with the spoon. It works exactly like a fork, except it doesn't have any prongs. You just cut it and scoop it up. You go... And I'll probably do the same thing right after stream. You know? It's... I, I'm hungry. Also, the dishwasher isn't full yet, and I don't want to hand wash anything, so this is going to be the best thing. You, you're not eating it. It's fine. It'll be all right. <laughs> Hi, Echo. Is that a secret road over there that I could go on? I don't know. There's like secret roads that... Ninja malfunction. The hell? There's, there's some secret roads, but I don't know how to get to them. I guess that's the point of them being secret, but still, I feel kind of cheated. This road is so pretty. My watch tell me to stand or something. What do you want from me? Oh well. It's me. My watch like went brrr. What am I supposed to know? Damn, I think it'd be so nice to go on a trip to the mountains. 254 in the morning with a coffee. 10.54 in the morning. Have like a little coffee, be driving in the rain. Oh. You know? I just, I, I'm trip deprived. I haven't been on a trip in like two years. Mm -mm -mm. But damn, did I use, I use all that money to go on trips before? If you get the chance to travel, that's what I use my money on. I got that extra money. We going on a trip. Most times. Oh, 
That doesn't count. I didn't take damage. What is this? Is this like a logging equipment thing? Why are you breaking? Wheel loader. Hurry up! Move over! All right, whatever. Who needs to stop at the stoplight? Not this guy. This guy's got VIP special pass lane. Special lane pass. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the other people don't know I have the pass. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh. Club Cafe? Do I have to be a member? You guys know? You want to call the front desk for me? Alright, we'll stop at this light. Let's let's angle him, see if we can get Oh, they turn. Anybody see that? Probably fine. It's probably fine. Light was yellow when we went through. This light was also yellow. Oh, it's green. Shit, that was good timing. Still have 33 minutes to get where we're going. There's a billboard for corn. 50 mile an hour limit? No. Absolutely not. I refuse. I just simply refuse. Dude, this water is so blue. Redding, next exit. Well, we're not going to Redding. Oh, come on. Turn, turn, turn. This thing does not want to turn in the rain. Holy cow. Guys, oh, it does not like me. Does not like me today. I think it's the rain. My stomach's crumbling. Oh, guys. <sighs> Slow turns. Slow turns. We'll make it. It's a little, a little dirt never hurt anybody. A little mud. You can barely hear my other horn. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Off-roaded. Off-roading in the rain, though. Yeah, this thing is not wanting to turn. Damn. You see how much I turn in this and it's not like one to move at all. Sheesh. There's a big logging area over here. All right. Oh, almost. All right, parking it in. I love all these people just standing around. They're doing great. Detaching. 07 on a good job. Continue. Let's go repair our truck. So I guess we can pick these up from here and deliver them. Maybe that's something we should do. Go from a job and then take that job and then go somewhere else. Something we can try next time. Trying to just do it all in like one go instead of quick traveling. Do, 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 do. All right, let's try not to wreck our truck. Oh, we are sliding around. Damn. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Okay, we're finally back on a road. 
You ready? See the difference in grip? Oh my god, that is a huge difference. Whoa, buddy. Here we are. We're just gonna go for it and hope we don't get hit. See, it's fine. Easy peasy. Squeeze of the lemon. All right. No, not with the arms wide open. This is a good ending song. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. While arms wide open is playing in the background, we're going to call it for the night. So thanks for coming by. Let me double check and see if anybody's online for Twitch. It was a fun time, but I'm hungry and I am kind of tired. Um, we're going to be starting new games, not next week, but the week after. Uh, we will do a night of Bramble. We'll do a Bramble stream, which is story. Next week will look a little, little different. We'll do some DVD because it's the event. And then we'll do Minecraft one night, Bramble one night. And then I'm not quite sure about the others. Try to keep it relatively chill. But, and it's all right. Um, that'll be it. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. Socials, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we'll be starting our Dark Souls playthrough whenever the Steam sale hits and we'll get Dark Souls. And uh, we should have some more people playing with us whenever the sale happens, getting truck sim, you know? It starts that Friday, so maybe next Friday we'll have Lud with us. Maybe we can get another person in if anybody else wants to join for Truck Sim. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'll message some people. But um, that's it for tonight. Thanks for coming by. I'm going to absolutely wreck that pizza. Yeah. Um, I will see you all Monday, bright and early at 6 p.m. CST. Not really so bright and not really so early, but that's okay. Um, I'm turning the music up. The music's all the way up. Here are these. Thanks for coming to stream. See you all Monday.